welcome back to another vlog i am having some breakfast this morning if you've been following me for a while you know my staple is eggs and avocado toast it's a little bit later in the day so i woke up this morning and had like coffee and did some emails and stuff i've been trying to like wake up like 7 a.m i get up i pray I just stay awake because that's not that early anyways and I'll just like do emails do like computer stuff make my to-do list for the day and then I'll like eat and go work out and stuff today I kind of have a lot to do so I was a little bit stressed that's why I'm just now pulling out the camera but I'm very excited and I have so many like apartment updates to share with you guys um, I got my rugs in I spent the last like two weeks waiting for my rugs to come in they finally came in i rolled them out my mom helped me like roll all the rugs out i got three rugs so one for the living room kitchen i'm sorry living room bedroom and the office area so the bedroom and the living room rug are the same but the office rug is different and it's my favorite so i will definitely share that with you guys um but let me share it with you all of the apartment updates so here is the coffee table which i'm obsessed with um sorry i didn't show you guys putting it together but my mom randomly came over and i didn't know where my camera was so we just put it together really quick this is from target and i really like the style of this coffee table it wasn't like my first pick because i really like the concrete um like big rectangular coffee tables but i didn't want to get one that was like super expensive for this apartment i'd rather like save up for something like that this one is a faux marble um it i don't know how i would describe this material but i definitely need to get coasters for cups and then this has just been like my workstation because i don't have my desk for my office yet so i always like sit here on my computer but i am gonna head to target today and see if i can get some stuff to like decorate this coffee table with i've got my coffee table books but i don't know if i'm gonna keep those here so we'll see and then i I've just been praying in that corner for now and then this is the rug which i love this rug so much i also have this one for the bedroom i told you guys i have my tv stand coming or it's here i just need to put it together so here's the bedroom it has the same rug as the living room i love this it's just like a neutral really good neutral color rug and then my bed is very this whole bedroom's so boring right now but um i'm just glad i have my bed frame up so i can sleep on my bed <laughs> and i really want to get a headboard for this bed to kind of like have the room not so boring but i'm using the side tables from my old living room um as nightstands right now until i like get some other ones i'm really just i don't really know what to purchase for this room because i am hoping when i get married to have a king size bed and right now i have a queen so i don't really want to get like a new um bed frame so that's why i'm thinking i'm gonna get a headboard and then i really need to like dress up this bed because it's very boring and my bedding is kind of old i've had it for a while so I want to get some new uh, bedding as well, but I do have my new two silk pillowcases and now my phone is ringing. So let me go answer that. And then coming into here, here is this rug, which I absolutely love so much. This room is a disaster, but the only thing in here that is like put together is this rug. So I really, really, really like this rug. The last rug is the runner for the kitchen and I've never had a runner in the kitchen and I was kind of like skeptical about doing this but it just really ties the area together and i absolutely love it it's so perfect for this area and i actually got this online at target you guys and it was like super inexpensive so i will link it down below as well um, as the other rugs it's a bit later in the day i have gotten really hungry and since it's getting cold outside i've really been craving a um turkey chili so i usually make this like every year around this time and um i feel like i know how to make it pretty much by now but i do like um look at a recipe so i will link a recipe down below that i'm gonna follow but i'm going to make it with you guys and it's super easy and it's something you can like keep in your fridge and you can just like eat it over the next few days the ingredients for this are super simple and you can really add like whatever vegetables you want um so i am doing corn zucchini bell pepper an onion and i wish i had garlic i thought i did that's why i didn't pick it up at the store but it's fine so and then i got some diced tomato you can also do crushed tomato um, and then i got some kidney beans and some vegetable broth and then um, of course the ground turkey so I'm gonna cut these up and we'll make this together <laughs>
tried it. It turned out so good. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. Um, I added some tortilla chips to mine. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit. And then Lauren and I are actually gonna go vote later around like four or so when she gets out of class. So I'm gonna enjoy this now. Lauren and I just got finished voting. I got ready for the day. So I look a little bit different, but we went by McAllister's and we got teas. Some people don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that's true. It's like a deli. Yeah, they so the tea. they really do have really good tea. McAllister's is like a, it's just like a deli. They have sandwich, soup. Um, it's just like a lunch place yeah. um, and they have like really good they're known for their tea so we get unsweet tea with like a splash of sweet and then we got a chocolate chip cookie to share we were saying that McAllister's brings back like memories of our childhood because we would always eat there when yes. we were younger and get um, broccoli and cheddar soup in a bread bowl in a bread bowl yeah which is so, so unhealthy yeah, I know. but it was so good <laughs> So we are actually gonna go run some errands. Um, we are gonna go by Target, cause Lauren is returning some stuff and I'm getting like just things I need from for the apartment, like detergent. I need some toilet bowl cleaner. I need, um, yeah, the tea's really good. Just some stuff like that. And then we're gonna go by um, just some other places. So I will take you guys with us. Okay, Lauren and I are in Target, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I got so far. I'm out of detergent, so I got detergent and some softener, some <laughs> toilet bowl cleaner. Then we got some candy if we have any trick-or-treaters at the house. I got another one of these mugs because these are my favorite. Some body wash because I'm out. And then I got a loofah for me and one for Muhammad because I don't want him using mine. <laughs> and then some stuff Lauren has to return. Good morning, you guys. I was gonna go like look decent, but before I pulled my camera out, but this is real life, you know? <laughs> this is what it is. I'm very excited today because my mom is coming over to help me finally hang the picture frames above my couch. If you guys followed me when I lived in Dallas, I ordered these picture frames and I was so excited about them. I had plans to hang them above my couch and then I like decided that I was moving and I was like, there's no point of me like hanging these. So. My mom is finally going to come over and help me hang them. And I also got a TV stand that we put together, like the majority of it. Um, so let me show it to you guys. This area over here is like kind of a disaster. So this is the TV stand and it was like $100. So it was not expensive at all. I couldn't decide what the heck I wanted to put for a TV stand. And I wanted something that was like neutral and just like super simple. So I was like, why spend money on something um, when I can just get this for $100 and it has like a platform with it, but it was missing like a bunch of the screws for it. So my mom's going to help me like put the rest of it together today, um, hopefully. And um, then I'm going to put it here and get rid of these two chairs. It's holding like my Wi-Fi and everything. And then um, I'll bring like my TV and I'll put like some books in there or something. And it's something that's like not super expensive, so it probably won't take it with me anywhere, but um, I'm just happy that like I got something for this area. just finished putting the frames up they turned out so good they look so pretty um, we were going to put the curtains up but we actually have to order them because we need to get some that are a little bit longer and then for the um, TV stand which we moved out of here we have to finish putting that together and we're not gonna do that today I'm finally gonna tackle my bathroom today literally like I've been putting this off organizing my bathroom I have been putting it off for a very long time. Today's the day that we're gonna do it. We're organizing my bathroom. I have everything to organize it and I've been telling myself I'm gonna do it with you guys and I've just been putting it off because I haven't had time to record it. Today's the day we're finally gonna do it. So let me show you what it looks like right now. Here is the mess. <laughs> so it's just everything's everywhere and this closet behind me is where I'm going to be 
like organizing most of my stuff and for now I've just thrown everything in there so I got a bunch of these gray like storage bins and I'm going to like organize that today and we're gonna do all of this and then I have a bunch of clothes I mean towels in the dryer that I need to like fold and put them here so we're just gonna do this today so I can feel a little bit better about myself and then over in my shower I just have all my products like laid out right there but I have a little storage thing that I bought that I used to have actually in one of my old apartments and it sticks to the wall and it'll hold all my stuff so we're gonna put that up as well that I will be using and I actually need to get some more like little rags um, washcloths because I've stained so many of them just with makeup and like coffee and just weird stuff so I need to get some more of those but um, here I have like my lazy Susan and my makeup brushes are just here for now but they're actually gonna move into my office on my vanity when I get it in and then I've got all of my like containers down here so I've got hair products in here and then this one is um, extra makeup that I haven't that's never been opened and like perfumes that have never been opened if I get sent anything that's in here and then this is like skin here that I have opened and down here I've got extra I like cotton balls um, toothbrushes things like that then in here is all of my hot tools, so like straighteners, blow dryers, and then over here is like first aid kit and sunscreen um, and extra contacts and stuff like that. So this is a work in progress, but I'm so happy with how it's turning out. I put up the little shower organizer. It goes in the corner. This is super easy to put up. If you guys remember, I had this in my apartment when i lived with lauren because my shower didn't have a lot of storage so i just got the same one because it was really good quality it just has four screws and then these little adhesive sticky things let me show you guys if you can see right there it just sticks to the wall and then it's like a little hook you just like place this on there's four um in each corner so i really really am happy with this this soap is my favorite soap i don't know if i've shared it with you guys but um, I got it off Amazon. My mom actually found it at Whole Foods. It comes in a pack of three or four, I believe. It smells so good. It just smells so clean. Like, it's such a good scent. So, I got it for the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, I got it off Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I really wanted, like, the Aesop um, hand soap. But, you guys, it's so expensive. So, I found these um, copycat or, like, dupe soap like little dispensers it just has the label that says hand soap instead of aesop and then it says like a little bit about how to use hand soap which i thought was really cute and it has different labels that it comes with if you want to change these out i added one that says dish soap to the to the kitchen so i'll share that with you guys but this was just like an affordable option if you really like the aesop like 
bottle but you don't want to pay for it um i don't remember how much these were but i'll leave it in the description box below it comes in a pack of two so i got two of them for this bathroom and the kitchen and then i'll eventually do the other bathroom as well but i never use that bathroom and no one has really come over so that's that Also got this marble tray from Target and then this little soap dish is also from Target but I'm using it as like a little place to put my rings and jewelry because I always like take it off in the bathroom and I'm always scared to like put it somewhere where I'm gonna lose it so I got this little thing and then I have my little cotton ball and q-tip containers that I've had for years I really want to get some that have acrylic lids so um, I probably will and then I got or I've had this candle and yeah just a little cute little thing tray in between the two sinks. I am getting ready to run some errands and um, just get some stuff done. And um, Muhammad is coming this weekend. And I'm very excited because the last time I saw him was Mexico, which was so long ago it feels like he's back in san antonio and i moved to tyler he has not seen my new place um he got a job um and he's working full time so it's like hard for us to plan when we're seeing each other and we like promised that we would get better at it so he's coming to um see the new place and i wanted to share a tip on diffusing hair if you have curly hair i don't diffuse my hair all that often but it does definitely make a difference when I do. Um, I posted uh, my last video, if you guys saw it, on healthy hair tips. One of my tips was to use a microfiber towel and it's seriously a game changer, you guys, because it really helps with not adding a ton of frizz to your hair um, and it cuts like drying time in half because it absorbs water faster. And I notice a really big difference when I dry my hair with a microfiber towel rather than like a cotton towel. But tip with a diffuser, um, the person who does my hair showed me this and you really need a diffuser, not like a regular hair dryer. This is just like a Conair, like cheaper one. Um, you put it on low and you'll keep it like a few inches away from your hair and the diffuser kind of helps like um, disperse the air around instead of just coming out like... <laughs> in one area so you'll hold it a few inches away from your hair and you'll just let it dry and then when you start to see like those little baby hairs come start like flying out of your curls like where it's like maybe about to get frizzy you'll like turn it off and like let your hair air dry the rest of the way so that's what i'm gonna do Okay, here is my hair. It is halfway dry. It's still a little bit wet underneath, but I'm just going to let it air dry the rest of the way. Um, and I feel like this method just helps decrease the amount of frizz. If you guys have any other tips, my curly girlfriends, leave them down below. But I'm going to get ready for the day. I also wanted to share a few of my Sephora favorites and things that I will be purchasing during the Sephora sale. So the Sephora holiday savings event goes live October 30th. So if you are rouge, you can shop October 30th. If you are um, VIB, you can shop November 3rd. And then Insider starts November 3rd fifth so i thought the best thing to do was just share a few items from each category like hair skincare makeup things like that a few from each that i love and like repurchase all the time so the first one is hair and i talk about this hair mask a lot but it is my all-time favorite and it's for all hair types and it's one that if you put a lot of heat on your hair or your hair feels super dry and you just want to like restore put some moisture back in your hair um this really helps also like repair split ends and strengthen your hair this is the oliplex hair protector number three so first when i wanted to try out this hair mask i got like a tiny size and i loved it it feels like you you just had like a super deep conditioning treatment done on your hair and then i decided to upgrade to the bigger one so i can't say enough things about that moving on to body care i absolutely love the necessaire body wash and body lotion i just ran out of the body 
wash so um, I literally just used the rest of it in the shower but I love the eucalyptus one and the sandalwood scent and then for the body lotion I love the fragrance free one because this is a lotion you can put on your legs like after you shave and it won't burn um, so this is a really good one I use this all over my body so moving on to makeup this is my favorite eyeshadow palette um, I feel like it's really good for all skin tones because it's matte colors and they're super neutral it's called natural eyes and it's just beautiful I've showed this to you guys before but these are like colors that you can wear on your lid um, if you just want like a very natural no makeup makeup look but you can also do like a really good smoky eye with this palette this product I've shared with you guys a lot is the bare minerals complexion rescue I have bought this so so many times over and over again I'm in shade opal one and if you have super fair skin this is a really good color to try out um, it's really hard for me to find um, shades and tinted moisturizers that actually look good on my skin and don't like cover up my freckles and just look natural and this is a really good option so I would definitely recommend this if you want something super light to wear every day Last product I want to share is in skincare. This is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. And I want to share this again. It I've bought this so many times, but the thing about this is it's very expensive. This is $80. And if you can get it on sale, I would definitely do that. And also this time of year, Sephora has the um, holiday sets. So this is always in a holiday set and I will link um, all of these products and a bunch of sets that I found down below. But definitely like this is the time of year to get like drunk elephant skincare um the skincare that is more expensive um it's just a great time to like stock up on these items and those are just a few things that i personally love and um will be repurchasing <laughs> try on haul for my instagram stories but i'm gonna also share with you guys what i got because i'm already wearing the items anyway okay first is this eyelash knit sweater it comes in four colors and it also comes in a cheetah print one i'm wearing a small and you guys i think this sweater is like 16 dollars and it's really good quality i just paired it with some black skinny jeans and black booties and this is like a go-to look when i don't know what the heck to wear this is what i would throw on this is another sweater from their time and true line this is 17 dollars. i got a small i really like the quality of this i've already worn it out once and i really really like it it's not itchy and um it stops like it's not long but it's not a cropped sweater so i just got my usual size small in this Okay, next item is this cardigan in Oatmeal Heather. Um, this cardigan comes in like four different colors. The only one that sold out is the one in black, but I really like it because you can pair it with anything. I just paired it with this um, cutoff top from Express, which is also on sale right now. Um, my Levi jeans and then my Air Force Ones. And this cardigan is just super lightweight. It's only $14 and it's pretty good quality so i will link it down below i like having these as just like staples in my closet for this time of year okay next item is this coat and this is a light gray color coat it's 44 dollars, and it's very good quality i ordered two coats from walmart and i was a little bit nervous to see how they would fit but this one fits really well it fits true to size i'm wearing a small it has one button right here <laughs> that sounded weird it has one button right here and um, it has pockets and the inside looks like this and also you guys these jeans are my first pair of jeans from walmart they are straight leg vintage and they fit really well they hit at the perfect length like right here my belly buttons right here and I really really like these jeans then I picked up this sweater and I believe I got the oatmeal color but I'll leave the name of the color um, down below uh, also with my sizing and I love the ruffles on the sleeves and the neckline I just thought this was a really good pick 
Next up is this sweater I just paired with a pair of joggers. I love the look of sweaters with joggers, but this is a blue. It also comes in pink. Here's the true length um, of the sweater. I'm wearing a medium because it is more of a cropped sweater, and this one is $28. Last item is this teddy coat. I love teddy coats and they're a very popular item for winter so I definitely had to pick this one up before it sold out and I love it because it's like a true brown teddy color and the, sh the uh, buttons are tortoise and it hits there's a good example of how long it is it's not like super long but it's a good length I like this length for a teddy coat so I did get a size small so it fits true to size um, and I will link it. I'll link everything down below. But that's the end of this little Walmart haul. Okay, you guys, it's way later in the day, and I'm really sorry that I haven't vlogged earlier. This vlog has been all over the place, but I've just been really busy. Um, I organized the bathroom, and then I had to go to my sister's house to help her with some stuff, and I was running to the grocery store to get um, food for breakfast, and some snacks because Mohammed is coming and um, he's gonna stay here for the weekend and it's his first time seeing this apartment so I'm really excited for him to be here um, I've just been like cleaning really quickly <laughs> and he said that he's supposed to be here at 7 30 and it's 7 30 now so I'm gonna check his location looks like he stopped somewhere oh okay he's literally almost here so, he's calling me. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, I am pulling in. Okay. Guess who's here? Hello. We are about to go to dinner. Mohammed asked me which apartment I liked better, Dallas or here. And I feel like Dallas um, was a little bit cozier because it was smaller maybe, um, and there was carpet. But here I have more space, so that's nice. But what about you? Which apartment do you like better? Um, I like this one just because it's more spacious. And it yeah. doesn't feel like everything's jammed into On it. top of each other. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, thank you. Of but we're going to go to dinner. And then he's going to be here for the weekend. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll vlog. But we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.